Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I'm reviewing the Simplicity Tarot by Emily Muniz. And this is an amazing deck that I just purchased on Amazon and was just delivered to my home. If you'd like to purchase this deck, just click the link in the description box down below. It will take you straight to Amazon to purchase it, and they will bring it right to your door. Doesn't get any easier than that. Well, first of all, this is an amazing box that it comes in, okay, and I like the gold detailing too. Very sturdy, so it's going to protect your cards, and you know the box is very important to me, so this is a winner. And let's see what is in the box here. Okay, first of all, we have a nice little guidebook. Okay, it's going to be a matte finish. And inside the guidebook... We're going to have about the Simplicity Tarot, okay? Simple tips to prepare for a reading, okay? Uh, cleansing your cards, setting things up, creating your tarot reading atmosphere, um, care for your Simplicity Tarot deck, clearing the deck, storing the deck, connecting with the deck, okay, and then it's going to go into some card spreads, okay? And then it's going to go into, let's see, there's quite a bit here. Okay, let's go back. And it's going to go into the cards, okay? Now, there will not be any pictures, okay, of the cards. It's just going to tell you the wording on the cards, the number, and then a brief paragraph with some upright keywords and some reversal keywords. And it's going to go through all 78 cards of the deck, okay? Major Arcana, Minor Arcana, okay. Very nice guidebook. And then there's some more spreads in the back. And then about the author and some helpful links. So there you have it. A nice little guidebook. Not too much information, not too little. I would say it's about right. And then let's take a look at the cards. And let me just remove this uh, plastic from the stick. Okay. Okay, and first off, I would like to show you the beautiful matte finish gold gilding. Okay, it's a matte gold. Very, very nice. Okay, and the size of the cards are going to be on the smaller side, an average size card. Not really big, but not, you know, miniature, you know, cards. Nice size. And the card stock is nice. Okay, and look at the beautiful artwork. And these are going to be very simple cards, which I love because simple is good. Um, and you're going to have the name of the card and then some keywords on the bottom. Okay, this is the full carefree and new beginnings. So this is going to be a perfect deck for a beginner. Okay, because it has the keywords on it. And let's see. Let me see the backs of the cards. I love them. Love, love, love the roses on them. Very pretty. And the moons. The crescent moon. And let's take a look at each of these cards. So we have the full. The magician. Okay. Manifestation and power. The high priestess. Intuition and mystery. The Empress, Fertility, and Nurturing. And I love the beautiful colors on the cards, too. Very, very nice. The Emperor, Set Rules, and Authority. So very helpful to have the words on the cards for someone who's beginning to row. Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Good Luck and Change, Justice, Balance, and Fairness. And you know what? I like the keywords on these cards because sometimes you'll get a deck with keywords and you're like, what were they thinking? That doesn't seem like a keyword that would describe this card. These are spot on. Okay, these keywords are spot on. So this author knew what she was doing. Uh, the hangman, sacrifice and surrender. Death, endings and new beginnings. 
So that's excellent that the keywords match up with the meanings of the cards. Because you could have beautiful artwork, okay? But then if you don't have the right keywords, to me, it kind of ruins the deck. The keywords are very important. And the tower. Star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. Look how beautiful that card is. I mean, is that artwork gorgeous or what? Beautiful. And this is a very gentle energy to this deck. I really, really like the, the gentleness of these cards. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. And they're kind of Rider Wade type of uh, pictures. You know, we have here the Four of Wands where we used to people dancing, you know, underneath the Four of Wands with the garland up top. And here we have the Three of Wands where they're looking out over a body of water, you know, into the future there. And there you go, Five of Wands. We're familiar with that scene too on a traditional Rider Wade deck. This is going to be an excellent starter deck if you're not interested in the Rider Wade Smith deck. This would be an excellent starter deck for somebody who's new to Tarot. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. And I like it when the knights are on the horses. I just do. <laughs> but that's just me. And I like when the king and queen is sitting on the throne. And you're going to get that with this deck. We have the queen of wands sitting on her throne with her cat. We have the king of wands, you know, in his red robe. Red to me is the color of passion. Okay. And he's very passionate and fiery. <laughs> and he's on his throne. And then we have a beautiful Ace of Cups. Look at how gorgeous that is. Two of Cups. Two people in union. Three of Cups. Okay, very, very traditional looking. Four of Cups. You could see the boredom on his face. <laughs> Five of Cups. You could see the sorrow on her face. I like that the... Facial expressions match up with what the card is trying to convey. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups and the walking away. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Then we go into the swords. We got the Ace of Swords. That's an amazing Ace of Swords uh, picture here on the card. Very beautiful. Two of Swords. I love the roses as details. That gives the artwork a little something. Look at that, Three of Swords. That's another beautiful card. Very nice. Heartbreak and despair. That's all you need to know. Okay, beautiful keywords. Four of swords, five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, anxiety and stress. Yes, another good card, nine of swords with the depiction here of the person sitting up in bed, stressed out, sleepless nights. Ten of Swords with the swords in the back. I've seen so many vari variations of the Ten of Swords where there was one where the person was standing, there were a few swords in his back or in his backpack. It wasn't in his back, it was like in a bag he was carrying. And then there were swords on the ground. And to me, that's not like a backstabbing card. This is a backstabbing card. This to me conveys a lot. Okay, this tells it all. Suffering, you know, betrayal. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. 
Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, Three of Coins, Four of Coins. Now, we're used to seeing somebody sitting down, you know, holding on to the coins. I mean, I guess he's holding on to these. Okay, Greed and Control. Okay. Five of Coins. Six of Coins. Seven of Coins. Eight of Coins. Nine of Coins. Ten of Coins. Page of Coins. Knight of Coins. Queen of Coins. King of Coins. And then these are interesting cards. The Spiritual Cleansing and the Spiritual Guide. Okay. And um, those cards, let me see if I could find in the book here something about those because those really pique my interest. Here we are. Okay. Spiritual cleansing. Okay. And it says, forgive me because I don't have my glasses and I'm trying to focus this here through the camera. It says, the scene takes place beside a waterfall, which represents cleansing by Mother Earth, the spiritual cleansing ritual led by a shaman. It's taking place. The incense is lit on the ground to purify the area. A woman with her arms wide open and her eyes closed allows the shaman to spiritually cleanse her with a bundle of fresh herbs. The shaman says her prayers and wipes the woman head to toe, allowing the herbs to rid her of impurities and negativity. Now, isn't that amazing? That is a beautiful card. And yeah, look, at there's the shaman. Okay, doing the cleansing. Spiritual cleansing. Very interesting. And it says here, additional cards. I have added two additional cards to the Simplicity Tarot deck. These two cards are optional to use. If you choose not to include them in your reading, simply set them aside. Read and work with these two extra cards as you would with any tarot card. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, right? If you pull this card, you know, it's, it's necessary that maybe someone needs a spiritual cleansing. Okay, to remove maybe toxic negative energy. Okay, and this one here, spiritual guide. Okay, we have this person here and she's got her, looks like crystal ball and some cards. Okay, and let's see what it says about that. Wow, there's quite a bit of information, even the reverse meaning of that spiritual cleansing, in case it comes out reversed, but... Spiritual uh, guide says, some believe that each person has a spirit guide who guides them throughout life. Each guide is believed to be different. Varying in form, communication, connection, and in purpose. We enter a room and see a dedicated place that is set up to connect with a person's personal spirit guide. On the center of the table, a beautiful dollar statue is placed to represent their spirit guide. Candles are lit to create ambiance and set a focal point for connection. The table is decorated with flowers and sweet aroma incense is lit. Things that their guide is fond of, such as a crystal ball, tarot divination items, and musical instruments surround the table to draw attention to and collect closer and connect closer to their guide. Upright concepts. Have you felt a spiritual nudge lately? As if your guides or someone is trying to reach out to you. This can be in the form of a recent dream, a vision, or a sensation. If you want to connect more to the spiritual side of things, the spiritual guide card can mean that one's personal spirit guides are trying to reach out. They come to relate positive messages to you. So yeah, very, very interesting. And uh, let's see back here. What did it say about the spiritual cleansing? Okay, it said the spiritual cleansing card, which came before this, it says when the spiritual cleansing card is drawn in a reading, 
it can indicate that a spiritual cleansing of some kind is needed for a realignment and to being refreshed, positive vibrations, some suggestions are smudging with sage, refreshing oneself na natural waters, cleansing oneself with spiritual plants, grounding, or applying feng shui, rearranging things such as furniture to shift the energy in the room. Yes, and that's exactly what I got intuitively from that card, that it was very cut and dry, very straightforward, that, you know, maybe there is a spiritual cleansing that needs to be done or smudging, burning sage, whatever it is that you need to do to clear your energy. And the other one was connecting with your guides. Very, very simple that there may be a message that your guides want to relay to you. So this is a very beautiful deck. I'll tell you, I'm satisfied with it in every way. I think the, the box is great. You know, the nice sturdy box that it came in. Uh, beautiful guide book. Okay. Very nice. Well-made guide book. I like the extra touch of the uh, matte gold gilding on it. I like the sides of the car size of the cards. I like the card stock. Let me see how these are to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. Okay, these are excellent for a beginner because of those keywords on the cards that are definitely related to the card's meaning. And like I said before, if the keywords are not related to that card, it really gets me because. Keywords are supposed to help you learn the meaning of the cards. And if the keywords aren't correct, I don't know if you're really learning the meaning of the card. Um, so this takes away all the confusion because you know this is accurate. Uh, hats off to Emily Muniz for producing such a beautiful deck. This is a wonderful deck. And I'll tell you, it was under $20. And to have such a beautiful deck produced with such great quality artwork, boxing, beautiful book, everything. Um, this is a, a good value. It, it really is a lot of bang for your buck here. So if you're interested in picking up this tarot deck, um, you can do so by clicking the link down below in the description box. It'll take you right to Amazon so you can purchase it. Very, very satisfied with my purchase. And this will be a welcome addition to my ever-growing tarot collection. And if you have enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button for me to get this channel more exposure so people could see these beautiful reviews as well as the card readings on this channel. Uh, share this video with someone who may be interested in this deck. And above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.